So today we're going to quickly go through some of the water cooling parts that I've got for my upcoming Tron build. These are all from EK. Uh, we've got radiators, pumps, reservoirs, water cooling blocks, dies, tubing and so on. So I'll quickly unbox a couple of these and show you what they're like. We'll start off though with the dies. So I have a pastel white and a pastel blue. I've also got a UV blue here, so I'm going to be mixing with these, trying to get the best shade that I can for the build. We've also got the hard tubing, and they've also sent this DIY kit, so that'll help me bend it and cut it into shape. So starting off with the CPU water block, we have the EK Supremacy Evo, which is a nickel one. So we have a bag here with all the mounting screws and bits needed to attach it to the motherboard. We also have a back plate, the instruction manual. We have the block itself. So having a look at the front of the block, you can see it has this uh, protective cover over the metal EK logo. Clear plexiglass for the actual block itself. Some little holes there for LED lighting if you want to light it up. On the bottom, it's got the name, the Supremacy Evo. And over on the back, it has this really nice back plate which is protected by this sticker. And some more back plates for the different types of CPUs. Now we'll move on to the pump, which is the EK XTOP Revo D5. So this is a D5 pump. One of the best and most reliable pumps. I always go for the D5s when I have the chance. In the top you have the instructions. You also have this nice little um, diagram here that you can use for drilling holes if you need to set, uh, put some holes in your case. You have the fitting screws, some washers, allen key. You have the pump, you have this little uh, rubber thing here, I think this will be to cut down on vibrations or something, maybe used with a back plate. So here's a closer look at the pump, as you can see it's got a nice clear top. It's also the same as with the water block, it's got a protective sticker over the metal logo on the front there. It's also got another one on the side, both sides. Looking, looking at this it would look like this will be to go on the inside there, maybe to cut down on vibrations or something like that. There is the four mounting screws, if you're going to be using this to mount it. And then you've got the power lead along with the voltage control there, the speed control. Now we'll have a quick look at the reservoir. This is the EK Res X3 250. I went for the white version in this because I'm planning to do the inside of my case white. So first of all we have the instructions. And inside we have what looks like a couple of spacers, the stop caps and an allen key. They do provide this EK logo which will be optional, you can have that on the inside. We have a couple of white mounting brackets along with the fittings and an allen key. And there is the actual reservoir itself. As you can see, similar to the black ones, or only it's got the white on the top and the bottom instead. It has five openings on the bottom. It has the same metal badge we've seen on the other two items with the protective sticker over the top of it. On the top of it, we just have one single opening. Uh, I think you can buy different uh, ends for it if you want it, if you need uh, two openings on the top. Now we'll quickly have a look at the EK FC 1080 GTX. This is the nickel one as well, and this is for the GTX 1080 graphics card. So in the top we have a bag with your fittings for the water block, along with an allen key, some thermal paste, and a couple of 
stopper plugs. You've also got the thermal pads here, the instruction manual, and finally we have the water block itself which as you can see is mainly plexiglass. Again to match up to the rest of the bits it has the metal EK logo in the bottom corner here and if you can make it out it's also got engraved in the plexiglass <coughs> NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 over on the back it has a nice nickel plate in along with the fitting screws to attach it to your graphics card well now I moved on to one of the two radiators starting off with this the smallest one this is the EK Coolstream SE 240 this is the, I'm not too sure if this was the slimmest one or the one in between but with, with both radiators I've gone for slightly thinner than what I'd, I would normally use but I am using two so these should be more than adequate for cooling both the CPU and the GPU As you can see on the front of the radiator here it has the LC Solution Coolstream SE at the top. It has again the metal EK logo at the bottom along with the two fittings. As you can see it's quite a nice fin radiator. Nice design. Again this is like most of the radiators a nice matte black finish. And then lastly in here we just have the screws for mounting the radiator or the fans to the radiator as well and an allen key. And lastly is this triple radiator which is EK Coolstream PE360 triple. We'll open this one up and have a look. So the first thing we see is again the fitting screws as with the other radiator this is to mount it up to your case or and to uh, mount the fans. There's also an included allen key. As you can see with this radiator it's very similar to the 240 design, the only difference being obviously this is the 360 so you can fit three 120mm fans if you want to. There's also the UK logo same as with the other, the two holes on the one side, there's none on the other. And again it has the LC Solution Coolstream PE at the top there. So I'll be mounting this along with that one, this one will go in front of my case. And uh, please do subscribe if you want to keep seeing the updates and progress as I uh, continue with the unboxings and then eventually move on to the case build itself. So thanks for watching and please do leave any comments, questions you have down below. Thank you.